What's up, Sugar with Spice Squad? Now, there's been a lot of tea this week. So first, let's get into this J. Cole feature on Cash Cobain's new song, Grippy. Now, J. Cole is receiving a lot of backlash because it is his first song released since a seven-minute drill diss track against Kendrick. And his verse on Grippy is probably one of the worst verses he's ever put out. A lot of fans think it was very mid, especially coming from J. Cole, who's supposed to be one of the best lyricists of our generation. Fans are not feeling his verse at all. Is she on my phone with a nickname? Is she on my phone with a this flow on this song was given adult Dr. Zeus book. It's grippy. I call her that because it's grippy and then she's a hippie. Fans are wondering if J. Cole sabotaged himself because the diss track and apology made a lot of fans on both ends lose respect for him. Now, Sugar with Spice Squad, do you think J. Cole should have stood on business or do you think giving Kendrick an apology was the right thing to do. Let me know your thoughts in the comment section below. All right, on to the next topic. So 21 Savage was on Instagram Live and his best friend Metro Boomin was trolling him. Bro, you on that po-ass Wi-Fi. Your mic ain't working, my nigga. Oh, you was talking shit? Bitch, get off my live, bitch. I ain't even see all the other comments. As we know, Metro Boomin released the BBO Drizzy diss instrumental, so clearly he's on Kendrick's side on the rap beef, but 21 Savage isn't picking a side necessarily. Metro Boomin, in a way, called him out by saying, quote, I just know you got an owl tramp stamp. So basically, he's referring to the owl, which um, in Drake's OVO brand is the owl. So... Although Metro Boomin was joking, do y'all think he's salty, like really salty because of 21 Savage not choosing a side? Let me know your thoughts in the comment section below. All right, on to the next topic. 50 Cent has signed a deal with Netflix to release his scandalous documentary film on Diddy. We all know 50 Cent is known for trolling the internet and has several beefs in the rap industry with hip hop heavyweights, including his arch enemy Diddy. I'm like, what do you say fuck me for? TMZ released the news of 50 Cent's new documentary, but 50 Cent was not filming the photo they used. So he responded, quote, TMZ used a fat boy picture of me because their documentary went to Tubi. TMZ caught wind of his response and quickly changed the photo. And then 50 Cent saw this and responded, quote, Okay, TMZ, put up a 2024 picture, baby. Let's work. I'm thinking this documentary that 50 Cent is going to release is going to have so much tea because not only is 50 Cent in the music industry and has been for years, but Diddy is his arch enemy. So he's going to dig up the most deepest, darkest secrets and find all the dirt to expose him. So I feel like the documentary will be filled with a lot of tea that we don't know. Now, Diddy is in some deep, deep water. We all want to know... Is this officially the end for Diddy and the Bad Boy Empire? DJ Academic stated recently in an interview that Diddy can come back from all this if he does these three things. You don't, you're not trying to get canceled? It's the only way to be. I, I think Diddy got to do that. What? I said there's three ways Diddy could get out of his situation publicly. I don't know about the feds. The feds might still get him. <clears throat> One, he got to come out, tell the whole world that he'd been gay or been bi or that really he always identified as a woman. That's, that's one way. Second way is to say that he had mental health issues and, you know, he's seeking really, therapy. Yeah, yeah. He's, mm. you know, he's been seeking therapy to send therapy. Mm. The last way is to say he apologizes, but all his actions was because he was touched as a child. Yeah, mm. Only three ways. And, and people will be like, you know what? Oh, you got fucked too? No one are yep. you doing free coughs. <laughs> Yo. <laughs> Yo. No real talk like that. I don't know about that academics because there's footage on the internet of Diddy's behavior and more victims are coming out with their stories. So I feel like this whole summer is going to be drama filled surrounding Diddy and not including the 50 Cent documentary that's going to expose Diddy even more. So Diddy probably digs himself so far deep that he can't dig himself out. 
So, Sugar with Spice Squad, do you think Diddy can redeem himself from all this or is it too far gone? Let me know your thoughts in the comment section below and I'll catch y'all next time. Bye. You know, I want to thank Vivica Fox for wearing that dress too.